Hi, this is Kim White with the My Sexy Business team. Our topic today is slow down to speed up. I'm sure that some of you have probably heard that phrase before and thought, that's crazy sounding. But here's the way that it works. You know, a lot of times we get so busy or so full throttle that we're not paying attention. We get it in our mind to get our checkoff list done, our to-do list ticked off. And then all of a sudden we realize we did a bunch of stuff that we didn't need to do and we didn't do the things that we really needed to do in our business. So when you slow down, sometimes it means slowing down to finish a project so that it's off your plate. Sometimes it means slowing down and paying attention to a process or a system that needs to be put in place. Sometimes slowing down means delegating something. Anyone who's delegated anything knows that in the beginning, it feels like it takes a lot more work to delegate something than, it does, than it's worth. But I'm here to challenge you. If you will take the time to slow down and check your processes, check your systems, delegate some things, do the things that are required to finish a project, then you'll be able to move more quickly. You'll be able to speed up because all of a sudden that project is completely finished and ready for sale or that that's definitely a mode of speeding up. Also, delegation. If you slow down and you delegate the right way, the right things, you get processes and systems in place so that you can delegate things. And then all of a sudden you look up and you're going way faster than you ever would have if you would have kept doing whatever it was. So slowing down to speed up has lots of compartments, I'll say. It has lots of ways of demonstrating what, what it looks like. Slowing down can mean getting some rest so that you're actually back at full capacity. When you're too tired and you're trying to work through something, but you're trying to do it and you keep making mistakes, take a break. Take a nap. You know, people want to talk bad about people who take naps, but the truth is sometimes if you take a 10 minute or a 20 minute nap, you'll come back with the answer that you've been struggling with all day long. You'll come back with enough rest that all of a sudden the answer is really simple and it's clear, but you couldn't see it at the time. So slowing down can mean resting your body. Slowing down can be taking some of your to-do list off your to-do list. And, you know, if you're afraid you're going to forget it, keep a running to-do list. I don't know if any of you have ever tried that, but I have a to-do list for today and I have a running to-do list. If I ever get done with what I need to do in that day, I pull something else off my running to-do list. And then I don't feel the pressure of, having to hurry up and get all these things done because my running to-do list gets done when it gets done. If there's a time sensitive something on my my running to-do list, I will pull it over to the day that it's you know necessary to get it done. But don't put pressure on yourself that's unnecessary. Don't you know, create chaos for yourself that will keep you from thinking clearly about what you need to get done. It's a really important process. It's a really important principle to slow down so you can speed up. Slow down and prepare. Prepare for what's coming. Prepare for what you hope that will happen. Prepare like it's going to happen instead of waiting until it happens and then being in panic because you don't have the things ready. There are so many different applications to this that I'm sure you're probably thinking of something right now that you need to slow down in and you are questioning, how can I slow down when I need to be moving faster? 
Well, it sounds like it's crazy because when you slow down, you think there's no way you can speed up, but it's really the opposite. If you slow down and handle those things, you will go faster. You will go much faster in a lot of cases. So I challenge you to think of something you need to slow down in. Do you need to rest more? Do you need to take care of a project? Do you need to get your financials in order? Do you need to get something, whatever that thing is that feels like it's a black cloud following you? Set a day to just do that. Set a time frame, a week to just do that. And I know some of you are making all kinds of excuses right now that you could never do that. Then set an hour that you won't do anything. You'll go on airplane mode. And just do that one thing that's, you know, following you everywhere you go. Imagine if you had to have a suitcase or a hundred pound backpack and you had to do everything in your day with that hundred extra pounds on, on your back. How much quicker would it be to stop long enough to take the backpack off? Or how much quicker would it be to stop and unpack the unnecessary stuff out of the backpack and then do the rest of the things? You're going to find out, if you will try it, that slowing down can create a speed up. It can create so much more momentum when you take care of the things that are weighing you down. So my friend, I challenge you to slow down so you can speed up. This is Kim White with the My Sexy Business team. We are here to help you create a sexy business for a sexy life. This first 101 podcast episodes for the My Sexy Business podcast are all about the sexy business principles. So the next topic is going to be butterfly syndrome. Do you suffer from Butterfly Syndrome? See you in the next podcast.